Good morning, Harefield. Now, what are you doing as you're listening to this thought for the day? Are you walking? Are you sitting in your comfortable chair, relaxing after hard day's work? Are you standing, standing in a queue maybe, waiting to buy some food? Well, you know, the Bible talks about sitting, standing, walking and running. And there are spiritual parallels for each one. And I want us just to have a look. Now, um, lying down, it talks about when we become a Christian, we're like newborn babies that just have to lie there, really. They're helpless, totally dependent on their mother to feed them. And it's a bit like us when we first come to the Lord. We've, we've left our own efforts behind and we just surrender to him and rely on him completely. And as we do that, we're actually entering into God's rest. And it says in Hebrews 4 verse 1 to, 1 to 11 that we who believe enter into the rest of God. Come to me, Jesus says, or you who are weary and I will give you rest. But we don't stay lying down. As we grow stronger, we learn to sit up. Before we can learn how to stand or walk, we must learn what it means to sit, to be seated in Christ. And that's really important because we've got to keep returning to that again and again. Ephesians 2 verse 6 to 7 says, God raised up us up with Christ and has seated us with him in heavenly places and that's amazing it means that what Christ gets we get too so he's seated in heaven he's resting in heaven and we get to be seated with him we get to rest with him and um, after Jesus completed his work on the cross and rose from the dead he sat down at the right hand of the father And all we have to do is to fully accept Christ's work on the cross to atone for our sins so that we don't have to live in guilt and condemnation. You know, even when we slip up, um, sometimes we tend to, uh, the natural thing we tend to do is maybe to feel guilty and to continue to feel guilty. Maybe condemnation sometimes. Maybe we try and um, hide our sin uh, forget about it or maybe we try and and cover it up or try and do something to make ourselves feel better I don't know what I do know is that what we need to do straight away is to um, come back to that place of being seated in Christ and to accept his finished work on the cross for us and then to enter into that rest again So moving on to the next stage, which is learning to stand. Stand fast in the liberty where Christ has set you free and don't be entangled again with um, the yoke of bondage. Once we learn to stand in that freedom, um, the enemy takes notice of us and we become a target. But we need not fear because God knows that will happen and he has given us the armour of God and we're able to stand our ground against the enemy and it says having done all to stand so the all bit is putting on all the armour holding the the shield of faith up using the the word of God like a, a sword that we that we wield against the enemy and to pray as as it says pray without ceasing Once we do all of these things and we're standing with our feet on the rock, then God will fight for us and we will win that battle over the enemy. Once we have learned how to stand, we next have to learn how to walk. 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says we walk by faith, not by sight. So we don't trust our feelings because they're fickle they change we don't trust necessarily what we see in front of us because our situations change we trust in God's word which doesn't change we walk in the light we walk circumspectly which means 
cautiously and carefully. We don't walk the way of the world because we're Christ representatives and we're called to be different and we walk in step with the Holy Spirit. Once we've learnt to walk, then we can run. Hebrews 12one 2 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles us and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. And I, I think that's an amazing scripture and there's so much in that. And um, I once heard a, a sermon which was called um, Stay in Your Own Lane. And it was referring to when we don't always like what, what God's called us to do, you know, the race that's marked out for us. And we look at someone else's lane and we want to run their race and we start to move into their lane and uh, figuratively speaking. And that just can be a hindrance to them, a hindrance to us. And um, we need to accept what God has called us to do and run with all our might, keeping our eyes on Jesus, knowing that our responsibility is to finish that race. And we know that we have a prize waiting for us, don't we? An imperishable crown. And um, we have that to look forward to. And it says in 1 Corinthians that um, in a race, only the winner gets the prize, but run in such a way as to get the prize because we're all going to get that prize, aren't we? Everyone who competes in sport goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. So run well and run to win. So that is the five um, positions, if you like, of, of what, we ha what we are in Christ. But I think the most important is that rest, because... It's a rest that uh, to be seated in his rest is what is happening on the inside of us. So that whatever stage we are at, we can just make sure that we are in the rest of God. So today, as we are sitting, let's remember that we've entered the rest and we're seated in Christ in heavenly places. As we're standing, let's remember we're standing on the rock, clothed with armour fighting the good fight as we're walking today let's remember we are to walk by faith not by sight and as we go for a, a run today if we do let's remember we've been called by God to run a race that's marked out for us for you your oh you've got your own race to run to stay in your lane and complete your course keeping your eyes on Jesus and finally when we're lying down tonight in our beds let's remember that as a Christian, we are still dependent on him like we were when we first came to him as a baby and that we are to remain in that rest on the inside so that everything that we do flows from that place of being seated in Christ. Have a good day.